When we work with numbers, we have different ways to express them. One way to express them is in standard form. Standard form is when we express something the way it's most commonly used or known. So writing numbers out like this would be expressing them in standard form. When we go to read those numbers, we're then expressing them in word form. So in word form, this number would be 75. We can also write out word form on paper. The 7 is in the 10 spot, so it would be 70. The 5 is in the 1 spot, so it would be 5. So on paper, 75 in word form would look like this. The same is true for larger numbers. In word form, we have 18,376. So to write that out in word form, we would start with the 18, and since it's in the 1,000 spot, we would then follow with the 1,000. So here we have 18,000. 3 is in the 100 spot, so we would write out the 3, followed by 100. 7 is again in the 10 spot, so that would be 70, so we would write out the 70. And 6 is in the 1 spot, so we would write that out as 6. So in word form, we have 18,376. As we can see, as numbers get longer, they get harder and harder to write out in word form. So as numbers get larger, we start using something called short word form. In short word form, we combine numbers and words to express them. So this number, 1,456,813. In short word form, we would start with the 1 million. So we would write the 1 and then the place value of million out in words. For 456,000, we would write the 456 in number form and then the place value of 1,000 in word form. And then for 813, we would simply keep that in number form. So in short word form, it would look like 1,456,813. We can also express values out in expanded form. Expanded form is where we write the number as a sum to see the value of each digit. So for 75, we have 7 in the tens place. That means that 7 is worth 7 groups of 10. Our 5 is in the ones place, so that means it's worth 5 groups of 1. So in expanded form, 75 would look like 7 times 10 plus 5 times 1. We could do the same here for 18,376. Our 1 is in the 10,000s place, so that means it's worth one group of 10,000. Then we have 8 in the 1000s place. That means it's worth eight groups of 1,000. Next, we have 3 in the 100s place. That means it's worth three groups of 100. That's followed by 7 in the 10s place, which is worth seven groups of 10. And then finally, we have 6 in the 1s place, which is worth six groups of 1. So in expanded form, for 18,376, we have 1 times 10,000 plus 8 times 1,000 plus 3 times 100 plus 7 times 10 plus 6 times 1. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching!